When is it time to move on? Should I move on? Those are words that I've heard way, way too many times. As a love coach, helping people after breakups and separations and helping couples stay together, I've seen all sorts of situations and I know that you're probably not in a good place if you're asking yourself this question. We are happily committed and we've created this channel to help empower couples and individuals to create the relationship that you want. And truth is that our philosophy is based around the principles of unity, helping couples stay together. Because we know that oftentimes through crises comes opportunity to renew your love, to deepen and to strengthen the bond that you share with your significant other. So we always try to go above and beyond to make sure that you do everything possible to save your marriage or your relationships. But in some cases, moving on is the best option. Moving on is a blessing. It enables you to find the right partner that will enable you to create a common life project that reflects your values and who you are and what you want to accomplish. That will enable you to start a family and to continue to better yourself, to become a better person. So when do you know that it's time to move on? When do you know that it's time to let go because your partner isn't the right fit or because you can't simply make it work? What's important is for you ultimately to have no regrets. If you feel like you've done everything that you could to try to make it work and you haven't been able to, it's probably best to try to move on. One person cannot make a relationship go. It's too difficult. You need both parties to be able to sustain a relationship over time. And even though you still have feelings or love or feel like it's a big waste because the potential of the relationship could be great, if you're the only one fighting over a sustained period of time, that months, sometimes years, then you know that it's time to move on because you can't fight the good fight alone forever. If your partner looks at you with disgust, if your partner is looking at you with contempt, it's probably time to also let go because you cannot be with someone who has no regard for who you are or who doesn't see the beauty or even sometimes doesn't treat you like a human being. In that case, it's probably best to let go too. What I've seen over the years is that when a relationship sours, sometimes individuals aren't even able to see any good in their partner. They can't see any good quality in them. And that's when you know that it's probably time to move on too. And everyone deserves to be treated with respect. If your significant other does not treat you with respect, if you're in a relationship where you feel like you were abused, um, emotionally or physically, perhaps you should really consider moving on, even if it's difficult, because better things are surely waiting on the other side of that um, painful period that you are going through. Ultimately, I don't want you to be with someone who is a narcissist, who is only basically engrossed with their own selves. And if you feel like you have not been existing in your relationship, if you feel like you had to compromise your values, your friends, your family, who you are as a person in order to make this other person happy, and it still isn't enough, perhaps you should really consider moving on, even if it's hard. Sometimes the people that come to the realization that they need to move on are broken. And perhaps you're broken too. And that's okay. Because I've seen people that were completely broken come back to life. And to become some of the most confident, happiest, fulfilled people that I know. I've gone through periods of depressions. I've gone through painful breakups. I've had to move on when I didn't want to. 
and it was difficult, but it helped me shape basically me into the person that I am today. And I'm better for it. So don't see this as a failure. See this, as a, see this process of moving on as an opportunity because that's exactly what it is. This is happily committed, but we're committed to help you find the right partner, the right relationship for you. Even if it seems like a long shot, we know what to do. And that's why we've created programs to help you get there. We've created a program on how to move on. And you can find more information in the description below. We want to be in your corner and we want to help you find the right partner. So we're here to support. If you haven't done so, subscribe to this channel so that you can get more videos just like this one to help uplift you. Like it if you've enjoyed it. And if you learned something, please share in the comment section below so that perhaps you can inspire others to also take the first step in the right direction. Keep fighting the good fight. We are here for you. And see you soon for another video on Happily Committed.